Adam. This video is sponsored by Timu. Thank you so much to Timu for sponsoring today's video. All right, guys, today I'm working with Timu to test out a bunch of different fidget toys, regular toys, and things for the playroom. Now, even though this is sponsored, you guys know I will only be giving my honest opinion. And if it is not a toy that I would put in my playroom, I am not gonna put it on the floor. And I'm gonna tell you all of the tea about if these items are worth it. And then we're gonna leave the toys that I deem appropriate for the playroom out for a few days. So we will come back and we will see how well they held up. Hey guys, I wanted to pop in real quick and let you know that I will be linking my entire haul down in the description so you can shop too. And while you're shopping, do not forget to check out my 30% discount code linked in the description as well. It's just for you guys. All right, back to the video. You guys know I love showing you which toys have broke, which toys are lost. So do not worry, I will keep it real. So let's dive into the first category fidget toys. I got a couple of different poppets because I found some really cool ones that I had never seen before. Now, when I pulled these up on the website, I thought they were going to be a lot bigger. So they are much teenier than I first thought, but look at how cute the giraffe is. I have seen these with like stuffed animal bodies, but I have not seen them with like these hard plastic bodies. Let's listen. Oh my gosh, that is so cute. Okay, I do like these. I think these are really fun. And the fact that it's the hard plastic will make it easier to clean and sanitize, which is a very big deal for here in the playroom. I think I am gonna put these out on the train table because they are the perfect size. So we'll come back in two days and see if the head is still attached. So for the other animal themed pop tube, I got this dinosaur. It is super adorable. Children love dinosaurs. So I have a feeling that this is gonna be one of their favorites. Let's listen. I really, really, really like these because they have a little bit more to hold on to. Whereas the regular pop tubes, I feel like the kids have a more difficult time pulling them apart without breaking them. So I have high hopes that these are gonna last really well. So we will put this one on the train table as well, and I will come back and let you know whew, if this dinosaur is lasting. Pop tubes do not last long here at Grandma's Playroom, but look at these ones. I think because of their size, they are still perfectly intact. These are awesome. Timu has so many things on their website. I was having a difficult time finding which things I wanted to get for this haul because seriously, they had everything from toys to clothes to like home goods. I was really excited to find a whole bunch of different things though, because you guys know how much I love buying toys. So I've tested the stress balls that like when you squeeze it, it like blows a bubble or the ones that if you squeeze it, it looks like it's pooping. But this one, you're supposed to squeeze it and his eyes are gonna open. Let's look. They do! Okay, you have to give it a really hard squeeze, but the eyeballs definitely open. That is so funny. He looks like he's seen some things. He looks a little, he looks a little strange. I think this is perfect for like my collection. Due to these like small pieces, I will not be putting this out on the floor, but I will be adding this to my fidget collection. I also got these magnetic playing cards. I thought I was gonna be able to maneuver them a lot more, but you can only open it and close it like that. They're very, very heavy, which means that they are a high quality material with a super strong magnet. So it just doesn't have enough like fidgeting for me. I definitely think that some people could do it with one hand easily, but I've got to use two hands. I just wish these had more movement. So this one is not my favorite, but I can tell that it's a high quality fidget toy. And if you're looking for a fidget like this, it's really good. It's just not the type of fidgeting that I like. All right, let's move on to our second category, toys for the playroom floor. I'm really excited for this one. It's kind of like a pogo stick. The kids stand on it and then they like pull this up while they jump. This is so cool. I think the kids are gonna love it. I'm interested to see if they know how to use it. And it feels like it's really good quality. I'm not able to like pull this apart. I would show you guys how to use this, but I think it's a little short for me, but it'll be perfect for like the two, three, four year olds that come into the playroom. Let's fast forward with the power of editing and see how this is surviving on Wednesday. And maybe we can even see a kid jumping on it. So AJ and Charlie are here. So we're gonna see if AJ can test it out. Oh my gosh, it does bounce on the ground. But do you hear how funny that little noise is? 
So Charlie's a little bit shorter, so we'll see how it works for him. I didn't realize it actually bounced off the ground. What do you think? Ten. What do you rate it out of 10? 10. 10 out of 10. Another toy I got. A lot of these are going to go on the like fidget table, like construction table to test these out. I was gonna put this in the baby area because on the front it says 18 months and younger, but then on the warning it says not for children under three years. So I'm a little confused. Let me look at it and see, and I will determine if it'll go in the baby area or not. I don't know if you guys know this, but babies love to pull tissues out of boxes. So I thought this would be the perfect toy for that. And listen, A little ASMR for you. They're seriously going to love these. And then it also comes with these mesh ones. I'm, honestly, for the price, this is an awesome toy because I've seen some expensive versions of this. You just shove all these in there. I am gonna put this in the baby area. After looking at it, I agree with the front of the box that this is perfect for children around that 18 month mark. I don't see how this would hurt anybody younger. I am gonna make sure I wash it, but then this is what the kids do. They just pull it out. I mean, this is great for developing their motor skills. This is a fun way for them to pull tissues out of a box without messing up an actual box of tissues. It's a fun sensory toy. So I'm, I'm gonna say, without the kids testing this, it's a 10 out of 10. All right, let's fast forward to Wednesday and hope that I am right. So here is the tissue paper box after a few days of being on the floor and it looks like it is still in perfect condition. Let's see if we can get somebody to show us how they use it. Uh-oh, uh-oh, how many can you get out of there? What color is that one? Red, yes, you've got a big smile. Okay, good, red, ooh. Next is this mobile four color puzzle and I think I am going to like this because it's a puzzle, but none of the pieces come apart. So you have to move these to create the pattern that are on these cards. Now the cards are probably gonna get lost super easily, but I thought it'd be really fun if I laminated like a sheet of these and then like Velcro this down so the kids could use this puzzle to make these patterns. Are you guys vibing with what I'm getting? I think this is a really good quality wood. So this is not gonna be a toy where I have to go searching for every single hidden piece. I think this is great. I'm really happy with the quality of toys that I'm finding here. Again, we're gonna have to see how well they withstand the actual children coming in here, but this is really cool. I try to find toys that are not only fun, but are also really good for like sensory play or developing fine motor skills. So I am so excited that I've been finding those at Timu. I am so excited for this next one. It's called Animal Balance Game. I have seen these all over Instagram. They are so expensive. So I am so happy that I was able to find this for such a great price. So what you do is you literally just have to balance the animals on this. And it really teaches the kids about spatial awareness, critical thinking skills, and now let's see if we can get a next level. Ah, there you go, there you go. And obviously you're supposed to do this on a table, but I don't have a table in front of me right now. Now these pieces, oh no, are pretty small. So we will definitely put out, I think all of them, except for these two, because these are a little bit smaller than I'd like. But I think the kids are gonna like these. I also think I'm gonna be spending all day like hunting them down. So if the kids can figure out how to use these, I think they're gonna love them. My only worry is that this is gonna be a toy that I'm gonna be like looking for forever. Everything looks still like in really good shape. And you guys know things here break so quickly. Puzzles are such a great toy to add to the playroom because I don't have very many puzzle-like games here. So I'm glad I found a bunch. All right, if you guys have been following me for any length of time, you know exactly how I feel about toy eggs. And I thought this one was hilarious because it's not in an egg carton, it's in a chicken. It says Easter chicken. So this would probably be a super cute Easter basket stuffer, but I just wanted more eggs in the playroom. 
Let me put it together real quick. What I like about it being a chicken and not an egg carton is when one of these gets lost, um, which is inevitable at this point, we won't be able to tell because it's just in a little chicken. And I'm just excited to see if we can get this to last a few days. The chicken is super adorable. Definitely, definitely one of my favorite things I think I've gotten out of this entire haul. So let's just fast forward and let's see if my favorite toy makes it through. You can see how messy the playroom is, but look at this. We have the top of our chicken and the bottom of our chicken and every egg is in here. So these eggs are still not lost, but the kids are loving playing with them. Another one of the like wooden stacking toys that I've been eyeballing for months have been these stacking rocks. They are usually so super expensive, so I've never been able to buy them. So I'm really happy Timu had them at a really decent price and they feel very high quality. It's another like building block that you'll have to use critical thinking in order to get it to like stand. They're a little bit smaller than what I normally put out on the floor. So like some of these I probably won't put out. We're almost there, We're almost there. But how beautiful are these colors? Okay, well, if I have that much fun trying to build these, I can only imagine how much fun the kids are gonna have. Um, these will probably make it into the yuck bucket a few times. I love this size. I wish they were this size or bigger. Some of these are a little too small, so I will have to go through and pull out the ones that I deem appropriate. Oh, I love them. Okay, the last thing that I got for the playroom <laughs> was this mat. And look at how big this is. Oh, wow. Oh my, oh my. This is so much bigger than I thought it was going to be. It is so big. It might take a few days for it to like flatten out and I will come back and let you guys know how it's holding up in the playroom and people walking on it. I tucked it under the table so the kids can't pull it out, but I really think they're gonna like it. This is so cute. And this like little like carrying pouch, super, super fancy. The quality is a lot better than I ever imagined from this website. So I'm very, very pleasantly surprised. This mat over here is like holding up super well too. Now we're into the third category. Things that Timu sent to me that they wanted me to try out. So let's look at everything they got and see if we're gonna put it on the floor or not. Okay, first of all, this duck is super cute. It's super soft. I don't have a lot of stuffed animals. Oh my gosh, wait, what is this? Oh no, so that's the stuffing right there on the zipper. So that could be really good if you need to like add more stuffing, but I'm a little worried that the kids are gonna open this and pull all that stuffing out. But let's put it out on the floor and test it out. Maybe they won't be able to find it because I definitely didn't see it at first, but it's so cute. And I don't have a lot of stuffed animals here. So I think they would like the addition. I thought about doing like a vet clinic or like a toy of the month being like a vet setup. So we're gonna soft launch that with the stuffed animal and see what they think. And now let's take a look at our stuffed animals. Oh, it looks like our ducky is still intact and looks perfectly clean. At first, I thought this was a chupacabra. No, a capybara, capy, capy, capybara. But I don't know what this is. It looks like a cha chain, a chainsaw. Is this a chain? Is this a chainsaw? What is this? I mean, he's kind of cute, and I like that he doesn't have a zipper, and he seems very happy about whatever mayhem he's about to cause. Please let me know in the comments. What is this? I also got two of these octopus. I am assuming they're gonna flip inside out. So we got the happy and the sad. We're gonna put these in the baby area because I already have some of these in there and the kids love them. That's the one place where I do have stuffed animals is the infant area. We also got a fidget cube. It feels very lightweight. Let's listen to all the sides. Got a little joystick, got the ball, these swirl, got the buttons. You turn me on like a light switch. All right, I mean, it's not a bad one. I prefer one with a little bit more weight to it, but as long as the clicker is clicking, then we're doing good. I, I think it's a pretty decent fidget cube. They sent me so many octopuses, octopi, octopi, octopies, octopuses. What is the plural of octopus? I'm like 90% confident that it's octopi and like 99% positive that it's not octopuses. It's got a really good spin to it and it definitely has the emotions. 
which I always love having anything with emotions on it for the kids because I think it gives them like a real tangible thing to show you how they're feeling as well. And let's listen to the pop. For how small these little pops are, that's not bad. What I was most excited about, but I didn't order, so I'm really happy they sent it to me, is one of these balancing ball things. All right, let's put it together. Like this is for me. I like it. I like it a lot. Okay, and then you're supposed to be able, now if I do two, it should do two. Now I think we can do three, let's try three. I'm pretty sure I could end the video right now and just watch this. It's a 10 out of 10. This was worth the whole video. This is it guys, this is the rest of the video, just this. So let me know down in the comments which product you thought was my favorite. I think it's pretty obvious. But I am really excited to see how the kids are going to react to all the new toys, how well they're going to hold up. So I'm going to wait to do the outro until we see how well it all goes. So I will see you guys in a few days. So after having the toys out on the floor for a few days, I would have to say my favorite is the chicken and the eggs because you guys know how much I love the eggs out on the playroom floor. But the kids' favorite has got to be the pogo stick. They were obsessed with it and may have been playing with it for like Four days straight, it is still in perfect condition, so I highly suggest these toys if you want to add some more toys to your at-home playroom or if you want an indoor playground too. Thank you so much to Timu for sponsoring today's video. If you guys like this video, I'd like it if you gave it a thumbs up, and if you loved it, I would love it if you would subscribe. I hope you guys have a wonderful day, and don't forget, wash your hands. Bye, guys. You and I till the end.